does the Bible say? What is the Constitution saying? What is the culture of our land saying? Ladies and gentlemen, then the Bible make a power there when you're drunk. Then the Bible make a Constitution make a. And then the Bible make a power there and then drunk. Ghana for me, Jimmy. We are counselor leaders. From every day of your life, you have to get my take on relationship. How to manage your relationship? How to marry well? How to do things the right way in marriage? How to have a child? This is yours truly, counselor leaders. Join me on my YouTube, counselor leaders. Join me on my Facebook live with counselor leaders. Join me on my Instagram, counselor leaders. And let's have my take on relationship issues. Should you die in a dying relationship? No. Marriage. It's not a destination, but a transition. How you make it belongs to you. Join me right now. See ya. Maso, time maso. Time maso for what? Ladies and gentlemen, your main kind is simple. Time maso for what? This is the relationship segment with my take on relationship. What does the Bible say when it comes to marriage and friendship and whatever? What does the Bible say? What is the Constitution saying? What is the culture of our land saying? Ladies and gentlemen, then the Bible make up our dear one here, Granke. Then the Emmanuel can Constitution make. And then you share to a cup of water and then brought you. Ghana for me, Jimmy. We are counselor leaders. From every day of your life, you have to get my take on relationship. How to manage your relationship? How to marry well? How to do things the right way in marriage? How to have a child? This is yours truly, counselor leaders. Join me on my YouTube, counselor leaders. Join me on my Facebook live with counselor leaders. Join me on my Instagram, counselor leaders. And let's have my take on relationship issues. Should you die? In a dying relationship, no. Marriage is not a destination, but a transition. How you make it belongs to you. Join me right now. See ya. Maso, time maso. Time maso for what? Ladies and gentlemen, your main kind is simple. Time maso for what? This is the relationship segment with my take on relationship. What does the Bible say when it comes to marriage and friendship and whatever? What does the Bible say? What is the Constitution saying? What is the culture of our land saying? Ladies and gentlemen, then the Bible make up our dear one here, Granke. Then the Emmanuel can Constitution. They say, who are you to prosper? We stopped your mother. We stopped your father. Why can you break out? Your parents are hardworking, but they never prospered. I am talking about Rose. Rose Akutu. Rose Akutu. I'm talking about Godwin. 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 The way you are clapping. Born to prophesy with Prophet Emmanuel J. I am talking about Rose, Rose Akutu, Rose Akutu. I'm talking about Godwin, Godwin, Godwin. The way you are clapping. Born to prophesy with Prophet Emmanuel J. I am talking about Rose, Rose Akutu, Rose Akutu. I'm talking about Godwin, Godwin, Godwin. The way you are clapping. Born to prophesy with Prophet Emmanuel J. I am talking about Rose, Rose Akutu, Rose Akutu. I'm talking about Godwin, Godwin, Godwin. The way you are clapping. Born to prophesy with Prophet Emmanuel J. Rose, Rose Akutu, 
He was a good one. I'm talking about God way. God way. God way. The way you are so clapping on this. Born to prophesy with Prophet Emmanuel J. I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America. Everywhere you want. 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this. Or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal, you can put it in me, Akwadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my God. Ginger honey chips, 862-215-2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. Ten dollars, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can put it in me, Akwadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. So nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Ginger honey chips. 862 215 2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10. Free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Yari yo, yari yas. Obi mani one fi yari. Yamfa yari su nye ni pa. Si chile yari ni no. Sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, supporters of our foundation, the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma and Cerebral Palsy. We are knocking at your doors, knocking at your pockets, knocking at your emotions. Support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma, and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome on 862-215-2007. Your zeal, 862-215-2007. MTN Ghana numbers, 055 77 it is the MTN number, CL Foundation for Health and Support. Help us with the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support. And let's give it to the needy. Thank you for your support. Yari yo, yari yas. Umibanyo ne fi yari. Yanfa yari su nyeni pa. Sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, supporters of our foundation, the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma and Cerebral Palsy. Finding this uh, wonderful roadshow with Prophet Emmanuel Ajay. Uh, thank you for enjoying all the adverts. Let me just remind you that from the 2nd to the 9th of of July, 
is Born to Prophesy. Born to Prophesy is one of the key programs uh, of flagship programs that is run by the prophet of the house, Prophet Dr. Emmanuel Ejay, the lead pastor of Prayer Palace International, located at Manette Junction, the finest, beautiful church that you can come across everywhere of your life. May I greet you with the greetings from above and give you a word for today. You will succeed. You will make it. Life will be better for you. But I love a scripture in the book of Second Samuel chapter 9. Number 18. If you read it carefully, the Bible says that and Jonathan, who showed favor to Mephibosheth, was a tight friend of David, of David, whose father was Saul there. Jonathan was a son of Saul, and Saul was looking for David to kill David. What wrong did David do? The son asked the father, My father, what wrong has David done you? What David did that was wrong that he was able to kill Goliath and you were not able to kill Goliath. This morning as I walk to you, as I come to your doorstep, please share the page for me and let's go. This one is share the page to a friend because our discussion is going to be very provocative. I came here to provoke somebody to look for the father, but let me tell you what happened. He said, my father, what's wrong has David done to you for winning the battle of killing Goliath on behalf of you and the whole land of Israel? Israel. If somebody can chalk some victorious success for a family, should the family kill the person? Should the family hate the person? I don't know why you are hated in your office because you are good at what you do. But I came today to give you a word. God is about to raise a Jonathan in the camp of your enemies. Whoever has intended to kill you, God is raising somebody in there to speak on your behalf. It was not just about Jonathan and David. The same thing happened in the life of Joseph. He became a prime minister because in the life of Joseph, Reuben, the senior brother, refused to allow them to kill Joseph. But he gave a clue. That is what connected the dreamer to become the prime minister in the land of a stranger. This morning... Take my word, and I came to tell you, if you have nothing to do at all, believe and be focused. Focus, because even the tortoise entered the ark. It was patient that led Noah to build the ark of God. In the time of their building, nobody saw clouds of rain. So they were talking and saying, oh, how, what you are doing will never yield any fruit. I came to tell you this morning, everything you are going through, the negative will come to an end and the positive will promote you. Tell a friend, I can make it. I am there. It is possible. God will raise a good person in the midst of your enemies to let you make it. This morning, the 12 minutes that I have spent with you, don't forget that you can support the foundation. Don't forget that you can support the foundation. The numbers are on your screens when we did it. Is 055 So, ladies and gentlemen, my topic is very simple this morning. Fathers can be absent on knowing. Or is a question. Or is it a, a question? Yeah, maybe. Should I ask a question? Should I add a question mark to it? Should it be a question, madam? Uh, you think it's a question? I mean, fathers can be absent on knowing. Is it a question? Or is it a, is it a statement? Yes, it's a statement. So it's not a question, all right? I'm not too good at English, so usually I consult the English people. But whilst I consult the English people, one of the things I know that I'm good at is coming to talk, and I'm here to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, my question for you this morning is simple. Between the mother and the father, who is more needed in the life of a child? <laughs> Shut the page! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm laughing? The share the page has become a signature for <laughs> for half hour. <laughs> share the page. <laughs> I mean, our discussion will not be too polite, will not be too nice. I'm doing it in two parts. And I think that Thursday evening or Friday, Friday, Charlie, if I don't go trouble with guys, it will be Thursday evening. There will be something better than what we saw. But let's watch it here. Please, uh, can you share the page and invite a friend for us to go into our discussion? Uh, I'm waiting for you. And uh, whether you come or not, I'll start the discussion. 
So you can also click on the link and come and join me, please. And let's do it together. Um, between the mother and the father, who is more needed in the life of a child? And whilst I dive deep into that conversation, let me quickly let you know who a father is. A father is a male parent in the life of a child. Who a mother is? A mother is the female parent in the life of a child. I want you to try as much as you can to pinch yourself and be careful of your utterances and your words. And don't come and mess up a wife with a mother. Don't come and mess up a husband with a father. I am discussing the life of a father in the life of a child. The life of a mother in the life of a child. So I'm asking a simple question. Between the father and the mother, who is more needed? Let me pause and wish a belated happy birthday to Ajia for real. Our prayers are working. If you have forgotten to say five minutes prayer for Ajia for real, her birthday just came up. And I want you to know that she is not guilty until proven guilty. And the Lord come in for Ajia for real. Father, I still pray for Ajia for real that your hands will be on your daughter. She is our own. She is a citizen of Ghana. Whatever she is going through, Appoint a Jonathan in the midst of the judiciary that they will speak favor for Aja for real. Aja, happy birthday to you, girl. I love you. And you know, I love you to the mass. Forget about the rest. You are the one on top. They will forget about you, but God will never forget about you. That is for Aja for real. Happy birthday. And 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 the trending issues that are happening, majority of them are well known to all of us. Very, very important. Miss Bear has a child now. And that child is very, very, very beautiful because you saw the child being born. You saw the child. The child was born. One of the biggest news that is happening in Ghana is a scene of election tomorrow. Tomorrow, Empire Ebika. We are waiting whether uh, 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 the said man who's, who, who went vacant because of court proceedings will still take back his seat for NBC or he will continue to be what is it? Man caught having hot sex with students in an uncompleted building. It is no news. It is no news. It's no news, but it's a trending issue. Eh? I must open your pants. Fans attack. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, some dressing up prone style dressing. Okay. Never date a woman like this because she can satisfy herself. So that's a man, a woman who, who, who goes to the water okay. game. The Bullion Van. How about my CCTV camera allegedly captured the killers? So the CCTV camera that captured the killers of the Bullion Van uh, police officer is becoming a bigger thing. So Bishop Obusu Bempa, Bishop Obusu Bempa, angrily blasts Reverend Victor C. Watting, calls him ungrateful. And this is in an audio, I think, okay. What shock you? Reasons most married women engage in extramarital affairs. The reasons are many. Some of us, we are not performing well in bed with our wives. And we are, we are afraid to even go and try with side chief because we don't know what can happen. All right. How Benna Boy and Davido made us proud. Yes, yes. At the BET Awards, they proved to us that they are solid. They are solid. They are solid. They are solid. I mean, there are more captions coming as a result of some of the things that are happening. Okay, Bank and his wife. All right. So uh, these are the things. Um, more trending issues. I have more. Beware of prostitute. I will kill him after first round. So this is a prostitute giving an information. So those of you who patronize the services of my girls, I want to plead with you that be careful of some of my girls. They talk, but they can't do. Some do talk and they can do. Those who are not part of my registered members, they can kill me. But my own, I know they are sure they cannot kill anybody. That's what I'm talking about. All right, they say, um, so they say it's an assassination. It is no more a robbery. The police is has stated that because they didn't take anything, it's an assassination and it is no more a robbery. I cheated on my husband for staying in America for 10 years. Yes, years without returning. So somebody's statement say he cheated on the husband for years because the husband never, ever came. There are more videos coming in. Eh? I think people video the police officer and we have to stop it immediately because it's, it's not it's not the best. It's some professional video, but it's here. I don't I don't know what to say. Um, and, and, and let me see. Shameful. We they see your fact. Oh no, it's back. Uh, somebody's dressing. I can't pronounce this word this morning. I am bold, but I can be beautiful in all areas. Right? Good. So congratulations to Miss Bell for the newborn baby girl. Uh, I think it's a baby girl. Congrats. Okay.
courageous driver runs over armed robbers, kill him instantly around Sunyani. Wow. This is a courageous driver whose face must not be shown, otherwise trouble will come. Your mama lost his beloved son. Which son? Which of the son has been lost? Well, I don't know, but uh, breaking news. I don't know which beloved. Beloved, your mama is a man. So beloved in, 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 in Kodesh means a lot to us. So then let me, uh, it says, the wife of a police officer, yes, the wife of the police officer is also trending after the death of the husband, that tragic, painful death. May his soul rest in peace, but hunt the robbers until they are arrested. Okay. Uh, a 63 year old woman was abandoned by her children to suffer to death. Well, when you tell me my children has abandoned me, I abandoned myself before my children came because it is not the responsibility of any child to take care of the mother. Well, there's a long write-up here coming from uh, a friend. He said, well, all, all are needed. Okay, so let's start reading. So we are coming back to the show and then let me start here with my senior driver who is teaching another person to know how to drive. You know, my driver has just started a lesson of training people to know how to drive. So if you want to learn how to drive and drive a noble, strong man like me, please contact her on this number, 0277609644. Let me take your, let me take your own because you are in-house before I go online. Uh, between the mother and the father, uh, we know all of them are needed, but who do you think is most needed in the life of a child? Uh, please, madam. We are listening to you. Please speak louder so we can hear you. You're looking very beautiful this morning. And if your driver can make up like this, nicely like this, it is temptation for you to lose a wife at home. But we are controlling ourselves and our sexuality. I will show you her face. Those of you who are smart, you saw the face of my driver. Yeah, my driver came into my video unknowing. Eh? Yeah, she didn't know she was coming. She's camera shy. Her voice is very nice too as well. Congratulations, driver. So let me hear you, madam. Uh, the question on the on the table is simple, and your your comments are welcome. Uh, by ginger honey chips, the best chips in the whole wide world. No time to say Abuabi, Abuabi George Luton. Share the pig. I mean, this 14, 15, 16 is not good. Why are you doing that? Ah, with all this content, share the pig and invite a friend. Don't just come and become person in Share the page and invite your friend. What is it? Oh, mini sir. That's our for mini. Small life, no half in a small show. We are bringing content. Mama Charlotte is going to be on, on show. I'm trying to get, uh, 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 what's the name? Uh, 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 Yvonne Nelson. Uh, I've sent her a message. She's not responding. She has to come and tell her because she, she's, she's spoken about the, the reason why she doesn't want to get married. She rather believes in partnership. Are you nashing? Woman, hold on, we can be there. Oh, baby. Be steady. Instead, you have a lawsuit from Ivan Nelson and you are still speaking like this. But now, the question is, between the father and the mother, who is more needed in the life of a child? I'm listening to you. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome very much. Um, I think both are needed. Mm -hmm. But who is but more? If you look at the way we bring up our children, the mother is always present at home. The mother has more time. So I will go for the mother. Why a, lot, a lot of, um, some, I will say a lot, but okay. some, some children have grown up without fathers. Mm -hmm. And mothers have taken up both roles. And today we have some of them in society, even though we say it's not the best. The mothers have done well. It will be difficult for a father to be present all the time where the father is a single parent. We always get help and support from the extended family. But where there's only a mother, she's able to work and take care of the child at the same time. And in circumstances where they are unable to marry, the child grows up just like the way we have it for Nelson, who is now looking for a father. So, I mean, just so once you brought in for Nelson, thank you very much. More needed. More needed. But once you brought in for Nelson, you are saying that mothers are more needed. Um, um, Even Nelson's book, if you read carefully, the author's write up, she has not shown any any anything there as a form of obsession to the mother. 
she keeps complaining uh, the fact that she has not found a father her attitude towards him and, and i'm saying this in reference to the write-up that i have i have a book and and the author's report she didn't speak well of the mother at all at all at all per, per, per what she has written in the book she has never appreciated the mother in any way so if you are saying what you are saying uh, will, uh, can we be right to say Ivo Nelson is very ungrateful to the mother? If you are saying that mothers are more needed uh, in the life of the children because their impacts for your things are, are, are higher, is, is, will you say that? Well, the last time I we were discussing this topic, I told you that Yvonne has a motive that uh, some of us may not be aware of. Okay. Because... Uh, I know some single parented or yeah, single parented adults who were taken care of by their mothers. And they, they, they don't behave like what Yvonne has done. So there could be something more to what we don't know. No, but what at all can Yvonne's mother do to Yvonne? What at all? That even if you are putting a book that is a memoir, a, a memoir that you have written that will go for the rest of the ages. There's no portion to come and say, no matter what has happened between me and my mom, I still want to appreciate her for giving because Egon Nelson is not, excuse my language, he's not a useless person in Ghana. Why are we talking about him here? Because she, she's an icon for us. She's made it in life. And if the mother could have not given her the basic education and, and whatever she has gotten, Egon Nelson even didn't write two papers while she was going to school because she thought she was going to fail. And, and the mother gave her the opportunity to come and write again later. So I'm saying that um, Yvonne Nelson's stand, a lot of you are saying she has a lot. She's gone through a lot. Yvonne has not gone through a lot, apart from looking for the father. Your mother was, was present. And like you're saying, if the both of them are present, the most needed is still the mother. If they are absent, the most needed is still the mother. So in this conjunctional conversation, I think Yvonne Nelson is being ungrateful, especially when it comes to the mother's side of this conversation that we are having. Do you understand? She has something we will not know. But she told us that everything we have to know about her is what she has put in the book. If you go and read the authors, I mean, she wrote a whole page for herself as the author's, or author's page, like the author's writer, the author of the book. She wrote a whole book, a whole page. I mean, it's more than one page. And this is what she pointed to us. So I, I'm coming from the angle where people are saying, Yvonne Nelson is hurt. She, who is Yvonne Nelson to be hurt by the mother? Who is she? What can the mother do to hurt her? What at all? And now, mommy, but yet, I'm a head too, to the stand. Say, so you will not write anything that we can clap our hands for your mother. So that I, I'm just coming in to say, because you mentioned Yvonne Nelson, and the mother, I, I am saying the mother has done well. Look, there are mothers, the mothers alone, who are single-handedly taking care of the, 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 their daughters. Not because they don't have fathers, but at the moment their fathers were not there. There are homes today where the father and mother are there. But still, the mothers are doing the, 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 the human's job. They are paying the fees and later the man comes to, to you know, either pay or don't pay. Do you, you get where I'm coming from? So, people are pampering Yvonne Nelson too much. Looking for the father, I salute her. But I think that the, the, the extra, the exegesis that she's added to the looking for the father, I think she's not being fair. But yes, that's your point that the mothers are more needed because they are much in the life. Of, that's, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. So, uh, uh, will you also say that the the upbringing of a child there's more positive impact from the mother than the father will you say that yes yes and why why do you say there's more positive impact than because uh, children spend more time with their mothers than the fathers um, the fathers come in to support uh, what the mother is already doing how we can hear her. go ahead so Yes. You believe that mothers have more impact on the children than the fathers? Yes. I say mothers have impact because when, when they are present in the life of the child constantly, 
is it what makes the impact or even no matter where a mother is the impact of a mother will be great because uh my kids are here their mother is in america but they still have impact or or you yeah. think it's a shallow impact yes to be shallow impact because uh, i'll Use myself as an example. Go, madam. And this is her book. <laughs> I am the driver. Hey, this book will be read. Go ahead. Every day has issues in it. Okay. Every day when the kids go to school, they bring issues that you have to resolve. Okay. And as often as you resolve, um, you see your children changing and picking up the lessons you are giving to them. Okay. You see signs that, yes, what I taught my son and my daughter yesterday, they have put it into practice. And every day they go out there and they come back. They come back with issues that they don't understand or they want uh, explanations to. Okay. So as often as you give them that exposure, okay. you are indirectly or directly impacting uh, values, wisdom, knowledge of what they need to grow up into them. So you have to be present physically uh, every day. If not every day, it, it, you have to be present. So, so I'm saying this be because present. most of us uh, in America, babysitters are paid by law to be able to sit in for us. So these things you are saying, the child comes home with a question, with a homework, with a confused state. Our, our babysitters do much for us. So... Um, if that is the only reason, babysitters, that's so. And uh, some of us who lived in a compound house, or not just a compound house, but our parents mistakenly had more than four rooms. They brought our aunties, our cousins to come and live with us. And majority of them impacted us and answered some of these questions, even though they are not our mothers. So if it's just the impact, can't anybody do that impartation? Whatever uh, impartation you get from the extended uh, environment, mm -hmm. the babysitter, mm -hmm. your aunties, your uncle, is an addition of what your mom has already done. Mm -hmm. So yes, the babysitters are there. But what I am teaching my child is more delible in the child's life than what the babysitter is adding. The babysitter is only adding. My auntie is adding to what I have, I have taught my child. Uncles is adding. When you go out, even teachers, whatever they are teaching, they are adding to what I have already done. The foundation I have built with my child at home. Do you get me? So will you really agree with me that when a child is, is, is out there and is misbehaving, when a child is out there and is disrespectful, when a child is out there and is speaking just anyhow to anybody with no regards, of moral standardized respect, we should blame the mother. Yes, we should blame the mother. You sure? We sh yes, we should blame the mother. So then, the misbehavior of Yvonne, should we blame the mother? Um, hmm. The truth is that I've not read Yvonne's book. Oh, I have to get your copy. Yes. No, I'll send you a so copy. So I don't want to. I I'll uh, send you a copy. Speak yeah. to because I'll I, send you I, a copy. I read somewhere that um, there is a there's a page that she appreciated her mother. And Where? The, I saw it on uh, Facebook that mm. Yvonne appreciated her mother on a particular page. What did they say she said? 285. I'm yet to see. Somebody said it's page 285. Yes. They're lying. The book is 159. <laughs> 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 my grandma has not read a book so she has believed in page 285 no, I, I wanted to get a book and then when I get a book mm -hmm. I will also read before I can fully comment so somebody commented on my page on your page okay so when let's go you, you spoke about the ungratefulness yes uh -huh. he says what ah, look at this on page 258 of the book and uh, acknowledgement section, Yvonne thanks her mother. At least at that point, she regarded her mom and gave her the due appreciation. I think that she 
I think that was a step in the rest has not come. Uh, in acknowledgement, yes, please. The book is 159. Okay, so, yes. where, yes, the total book is 159. If you get a soft copy, it's 156. So, the acknowledgement you are talking about, I'll go back and read the acknowledgement, but I've not seen where you were talking about my, my brother or my sister, whoever who was a person, a male or a female, <laughs> that sent that message. You understand? So, so I get it. So, I'm saying, pay your question. I'm asking if Yvonne Nelson's mother has made Yvonne better and the way she, Yvonne is. Do we have to blame the mother for it? That's what I ask you. Yeah, I, I will still come back to the point that um, Yvonne has a motive. Somebody says she, she was being strategic. Maybe she's doing this to get the masses, get uh, money, sell put some punches in the book to make it, you know, catch people's attention, make it controversial. So the mother is a punch. Yes. That the mother She's was not good. The because mother if, if you're saying that uh, Yvonne appreciated the mother, when Yvonne went, went to, uh, I think a year or so, Yvonne went to a Chiami Kofi show on Angel and under the, under the 30 questions asked, she made a statement that she has never enjoyed life since she was born. She's gone through a lot of pain since she was born. She, she made that statement. And making that statement, if you, uh, the guy's acknowledgement, I can't find it. Go to whoever wrote that thing under my page. I salute you for coming to write. But at the acknowledgement level, I don't know what you call appreciating mother. I don't know what you call appreciating mother. So you've seen that Yvonne Nelson's mother has had impact on Yvonne. Well, this book doesn't uh, demonstrate that. But but we want to say that, sincerely speaking, the impact we are looking at is truly coming from Yvonne Nelson's mother. Or what do you think? Before Yvonne wrote this book, she was celebrated in public. That's why she was a celebrity. Wow. Like she still is a celebrity. I, I, I like Before this book came out, mm -hmm. people use... I know some ladies out there who say Yvonne is their role model. They want to be... Uh, grow up to be an actor like Yvonne. Mm -hmm. Before this book came out, people admired Yvonne from a particular distance. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we are admiring people like that, then it means that they are coming from good homes. Family mm -hmm. have brought them up well. So you want to say that we saw a lot of moral standard in the life of Yvonne? Before this book. So we're thinking she's premium proper? Well, even if she's not prim and proper, we are, we're appreciating her in the public space. No, but if, if those of you who think Yvonne was emotionally matured, you remember when Abegu Santana, I don't know if you watched that, that a two interview between Yvonne and Abegu Santana about a comment that she allegedly said I have made. And she vehemently spilled out a lot of pain as a result of what somebody wrote about her that I said. And I mean, I, I don't get worried when people use me because if you're if you a public finger, many will look for items concerning you to make things work. So if you're saying Yvonne was pretty and proper, yes, from where you sit so, but per this book, you have realized that she's not what you're looking at her for, but it is on record that we celebrated Yvonne for who she was, not knowing the side of her. Yes. And that means credit goes to the mother. So Yvonne Nelson is being ungrateful. Is that where you're coming from? I don't want to... Uh, use the word use ungrateful. The word of My driver doesn't want to use the word ungrateful. <laughs> because but I am using the word yeah. ungrateful because the view of ungrateful is people who are not appreciative of where they, they are coming from. Regardless of the pain and the struggles you've gone through, you need to learn to be appreciative because if you don't do that, a prayer warriors will pray against you. Because David, David in the soul was not appreciative in the life of David going to kill Goliath and was angry and wanted to kill David for no reason. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So Yvonne's mother, if you're saying mothers are needed more because they have more impact in the life of their child, I am saying that, can we say that the behavior of Yvonne Nelson now as a result of the book she has written is as a result of what the mother put in her? Uh, I'm not, as I said, I've not read the book, but... 
evil may be coming from a different angle or another angle that we may not be aware of. I don't think the mother has done anything bad. As I said, we were celebrating even before this book came out. So now that this book is out with all this content, we have to really look ab about some of the things and reanalyze them because we have celebrated Yvonne for a long time before this book has, is out. And uh, before this book came out, I don't think Yvonne has sat anywhere to give a picture of her having a bad mother we would have discussed it. You understand? We would have discussed it. So, Yvonne's mother is not a bad person. So, we're not saying she's a bad person. We're saying that she has, she's gotten some impact in the life of the child. That's what you're saying. Yes. Is that not it? Yes. Yes. So, we're saying when Nelson is ungrateful, I'm saying that because if the mother has had an impact on her, then her write-up could have been different than what we're seeing now. And you see, one of the issues about you saying mother, as a mother, if you, I, I don't, I can't ask you this question because you have the right to answer and not to answer. You, this uh, people that we are preview of your your sex life, if, 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 if you think a daughter will break the virginity and tell the mother about it, mm -hmm. a daughter will break it. Like you break, where you broke a virginity, you want to tell your mother about it? No. Why? Because. Mm, Back then, our parents were not open when it comes to sex education. Mm -hmm. And I come from a very strong religious background. My parents were very strong in the postals. So I can't break my virginity while single. Okay. It will never go down well with me that I'll go in uh, discuss with my with my mom that I broke my virginity. I, 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 life will be unpleasant for me at home. And the reason was because uh, what you were taught about sex was pregnancy. There was nothing else you were taught about sex. Yes. They never told you sex is pleasure. No. They told you it gives pregnancy. Yes. And pregnancy will make you look useless. Yes. If a man is not in your life and you get pregnant, you become a victim. Yes, you become miserable. Mm. So did they teach you safe period too? Or they didn't even want you to have sex, so there's nothing like safe period. The, the safe period education was about how to carry yourself when you are menstruating. Okay. Yes, they didn't teach me anything about ovulation. Mm. I didn't know anything about ovulation. So even it... the ovulation, what I learned in school, it was... Uh, distorted, and they were be the teachers that taught me ovulation were behaving like my parents. So it's like you have a repetition upside of your parents down. in school. Yes, upside down science to confuse you and keep you away from sex. So, so you can't tell your mother you're gonna have sex. No, it's a taboo. Okay, so it means that your mother would not know when you had sex. No. So it means that you could have even gone to do abortion without your mother's knowledge. Yes. So if right now you write a book and your mother finds out that whilst it was keeping you in a hen coop, I will not write a book and put that I had an abortion there. So that, never, I'm, but, I'm just bringing this up in the life of Yvonne Nelson. Never, because, never, never, never. Because at the end of the day, uh, the mother thought it was keeping Yvonne Nelson. But here comes a book that shows that Yvonne Nelson says she got pregnant and went to abort. Do you think if your mother has impact, like you're saying, more needed in life, was the mother aware Yvonne Nelson have even broken her virginity to even get pregnant? You see, this is Yvonne's book. And um, if you want to get a clearer picture of what this whole issue is about, some of you media guys must engage Yvonne's mom. For? Let's hear her side of the story. Oh, that would be bad. Not to provoke her to reveal, let's say, the father of the baby, uh, the father of Yvonne, mm -hmm. or what happened during the 
before Yvonne was conceived, mm -hmm. how she was living her life. Mm -hmm. We want to know how raising up, uh, raising Yvonne was like. Yvonne said her mother tried uh, to marry and it didn't go well. She should speak about that issue because that one has painted a bad image for Yvonne, feeling that marriage is bad. So that is where I was coming. That I said from the beginning of our discussion that we are dealing with fathers and mothers and we should be careful we don't bring husbands and wife in the game. However, as we speak, like your statement you just made, that they, in the author's writer, Yvonne Nelson said, one of the most scary thing that the mother, one of the most scary thing in the life of the mother was marriage that they say God ordained. So in her second attempt to marriage, she went with the mother to go and live in the man's house. This is a bonus. It's in the book. That chapter is, is in the writer. Now, so if you are saying a mother has is more needed and has an influence in the life of a child, does it mean when the mother goes through bad marriage, it will affect a child's upbringing and her desire to be a wife? Because right now, even Nelson says being a wife is, is not part of her plans now. She doesn't desire to become a wife because that level of faithfulness, she said it, that level of, uh, you know, she doesn't want to cheat. That's the word. She, does, she doesn't want to cheat on her, on her partner. And it's not easy to stay and say, I love you. But she wants to find herself with a partner who will be responsible, will love her, and will take care of the children they produce. That's what Yvonne Nelson said. Are you saying that this could be as a result of an impact from the mother? Because if you say mothers are more needed, has a mother's singleness, but the mother is still married. The mother got married and still is a marriage. So has a mother's life impacted Yvonne Nelson and the fear of, the, like Yvonne said, the, the mother is always afraid of marriage. Has he affected Yvonne Nelson is afraid of marriage? Well, we can say yes and no. Um, yes, because, yeah, growing up, whatever you see has a way to influence your life. <laughs> when you see bad marriages, you may think that the marriage institution is bad. And when you see good marriages, you are you yearn to enter into the marriage. Sometimes to if you have a good mother, she will pour her heart out to you and teach you the attributes or the yeah, signs of a good marriage. Look, mm -hmm. this my marriage is this, this, this bad, but this is how a good marriage looks like. Mm -hmm. This is where I see you in the future. This is, a, they start to paint a good marriage to you so that you don't focus on their bad marriage that they are sitting in. Mm -hmm. And it goes beyond to also teach us that it's not everything we discuss with our children. Good. Whatever you are going through as an adult and as a mother, as a parent, you don't go discussing them with your child. Yvonne was very close. I'm sure she's the first child of the mom. And she will be very close to the mom to the extent that the mother may have uh, mistakenly or knowingly made some statements. Sometimes mothers do that. Your father is irresponsible. Your father is this, this, that, which is not good. And let me be a record that Yvonne Nelson said the mother told her that in the sixth month of her, of her pregnancy, she went to the doctor to terminate Ivo Nelson. But there were some issues that the doctor didn't do. All oh, those things are too much information from the mom. But you are a mother want. who wants to impact in the life of your child. This is not a positive impact. Some of them, they say it positively to scare you away from unwanted pregnancy. No. There is a stage that you stop speaking like that. Which is what stage? There is a stage, there is an age. But Ivo was innocent. Yes. At 25, the mother didn't hear even going to do an abortion. At even 25, even didn't know anything about sex. Because oh, who told she, you? she didn't know anything about safe sex. She didn't, she didn't know anything about uh, that, ovulation. I will not falter you, but she didn't write that. But she was able to have sex with a 22-year-old boy who penetrated and impregnated. <laughs> yes. Sir, so, to be precise. Yes, I agree with you. And the mother, the mother didn't know about the abortion. 
I'm, so I'm saying the impact of your mother. You have made it clear. It's more needed. I, I agree with you 100%. So should we blame mothers when children are going wayward and they are not bringing out the best out of them? Yes, we should blame mothers. Because uh, we should try not to transfer our bitterness from uh, issues in our life onto our children. Bitterness of a failed marriage, bitterness of um, an irresponsible or absent father. I don't know lessons. There are lessons, but we should be careful with, with our utterances when we are communicating with our children. We shouldn't transfer that onto them. So you Sometimes think maybe life, life Nelson's mother gave too much information to you? Yes. From the book, you can see that... Uh, but a lonely mother with a beautiful daughter, is it wrong for mommy to share with daughter? Yeah, you said lonely mother. Yes. Why are you lonely? Because the child kept asking, who is my father? She has the right to ask. The right was a pressure to her. Yes. The pressure will push her to tell Yvonne who the father is. But she's not said it. She gave examples. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, my driver has arrived. And as I do it every day, the conversation continues. So this is coming from Paul. He said, all are needed. Without ma, it says all are needed. Without mother, problem with without without mother, problem without father, problem. In the absence, <laughs> it was the right absence. In the absence of the father, the woman will still look for a man somewhere to support her. Well, that is Paul. Paul, thank you very much. Your comments are needed here. They are brought to you by Ginger Honey Chips. Your comments are brought to you by Ginger Honey Chips, the chips of the season. Ginger Honey Chips is what has made us become possible to bring to this wonderful thing uh, to you right now at your doorstep. Ginger Honey <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's Ginger Honey Chips. Ginger Honey Chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can bring it in me, Akbadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Ginger honey chips. 862 215 2007. 862 215 2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10. Free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, my 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 uh, my driver has has just left me, and I have to do the needful by driving myself through this particular wonderful um, time. But like she made a lot of profound statement, and we are just we've done well with an hour discussion of this particular issue between the father and the mother, who is more needed. And the case study is still on Yvonne Nelson's um, state in the life of the mother. And like I said earlier on some time ago in another particular interview, I am saying that Yvonne Nelson has proven to me that there is more level of ungratefulness because being alive through a mother who has gone through some phase, I believe that the mother has not enjoyed uh, Yvonne Nelson to the max. And the, the 30 questions they ask Yvonne Nelson, if your mother needed anything from you, usually um, when your mother needs anything from you, the first question was, um, how does she call you? She calls me Yvonne. So there was a relationship, but if there's any impact positively like you are all saying, that the father is needed, the mother is needed. I'm saying who is more needed and like, like, like Paul said, when your mother, your father leaves you with your mother, 
definitely your mother will go for a certain man. And, and in the life of Yvonne, the mother brought a certain man in her life. And that certain man came to become a caretaker in the life of Yvonne. So if, if that really happened, then there was a man, masculine figure in the life of Yvonne. And Yvonne Nelson made it clear to us that she, she, she looked more of a tomboy for her upbringing because she believed that you can succeed if you don't look like a man, but have the thoughts of a man. So she fought her way through to be a man. I am still on the same target. And uh, this is brought to you by Ginger Honey Chips, the chips of the season. Let me also notify all of you that this particular broadcast, you can join us not just by comment, but by clicking on the link at the last end of your Facebook. You can come in live and share with us. We are expecting to have a, a, a Reverend Dr. Reverend Dr. Odro, Odro, Charlotte Odro, to come and join us. We are also expecting Honorable Mrs. Honorable Mrs. Uh, Empress Gifty Adoye to also join us. And we are expecting you to also join us. Please share the page. It's knowledge that we are dissipating. We are trying to speak to know that between the mother and the father, who is more needed? My driver made it clear and told us that from where she sits, the impact of a mother is so strong. So the mother is more needed. And I push her to tell me, if by chance, any time you find yourself, a child is misbehaving in town, should you blame the mother for her misbehavior? And that is where she became a little bit skeptical. And she was stepping aback and was not too ready to go there because she is not ready to start any controversial question to receive a suit from Yvonne Nelson. Well, having said all these things, I still stand at the corner and at where I am, and I'm still saying it boldly and effortlessly that Yvonne Nelson have not shown better signs of gratefulness in the life of the mother. She's been ungrateful because the mother has gone through some phase to make her who she is. We have celebrated Yvonne Nelson not because we know who her father is. We have celebrated her because the mother gave us the opportunity to know who Yvonne Nelson is. And if your mother made us know who you are or who you have become or who you have always been, I don't know why now we have to fight back the same mother who has made you who you are. So my conversation continues and we have done 57 minutes, maximum 25 minutes, I'm supposed to go off. If, if we are not able to reach Reverend Dr. Charlotte Odro and Honorable Mrs. Empress Gifty Adoye, then we might have to leave their sections because their impact is important. I, I don't know what comment you have. I've had only one comment so far and I know people are busy this morning. But as we move forward and I share with you, let me continue from my own. So a father is the male parent in the life of, of, of a child. And the mother is the female, like I said earlier on. Having given all these um, definitions to you, one of the things that I have come to believe is that if, if, if you find out that a child is hurt because of a mother, the things the child is hurt about usually doesn't come as a positive thing in the eyes of the public. Because like my driver spoke earlier, the mothers at times in their pain release more information to the children or to their children more than any other person. Yes, they do. They discuss their pain. Is it wrong to discuss your pain with your child? Is there anything wrong in pouring out what you are going through? Your father is not absent. That stupid father of yours. If it's not your father, like today, I am a nurse. If it's not your father, like today, I am a driver 
to, to some, I'm a first female driver. If it is not your father, I am this. If it is not your father, I am this. But your father crossed me when I was in form four. When I was just about to finish my education, then your father brought me out to this level. And that is how I've been suffering till today. Are you going to I, I mean, do we do we think that the impact of, of, of mothers in the life of children are part of the reasons why children are suffering, are part of the reasons why the children will grow up to come and eat their mothers up? Because they believe that uh, the things the mother told them is what is hurting them. Because you see, like, like the story of Yvonne, and, and I kept going to Yvonne's story in the book. She said somewhere i didn't keep the page in my head but if i get it i'll read it for you all right so reverend dr charlotte drew just says she'll get back to her very soon with the impact of that conversation thank you doc so because the doctor will come soon we've done an hour i will really really bring her on very soon when she's ready thank you so much barbara for coming and thank you. Good morning, too. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. And our question is simple. Um, between the father and the mother, who is more needed in the life of the child? And we said, can a father be absent or knowing? You are absent, but I don't know you are absent. <laughs> can a father be absent or knowing? Yes, yes. It, it's, I mean, I'm asking. Can a father be absent or knowingly? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, you see, I believe a father can be absent or knowingly. And so, let, let's, let's, Jojo. All right. So, so, share the page. Invite a friend as we go. But let me also remind you, like I said earlier on, uh, uh, you need to give me the support for my foundation. Very important. Yari yo, yari yas. Obi benya one fi yari. Yamfa yari su nye nipa. Sichre yari minu. Sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, supporters of our foundation, the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma and Cerebral Palsy. We are knocking at your doors, knocking at your pockets, knocking at your emotions. Support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma, and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome on 862-215-2007. Your zeal, 862-215-2007. MTN Ghana numbers, 055-000-5077. Zero five five zero 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 five zero seven seven. It is the MTN number. CL Foundation for Health and Support. Help us with the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support, and let's give it to the needy. Thank you for your support. Yari yo, yari yas. Obi benya one fi yari. Yamfa yari su nye nipa. Sichre yari minu. Sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, supporters of our foundation, the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma and Cerebral Palsy. We are knocking at your doors, knocking at your pockets, knocking at your emotions. Support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma, and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome on 862-215-2007. Your zeal, 862-215-2007. MTN Ghana numbers, 055 0000 it is the MTN number, CL Foundation for Health and Support. Help us with the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support, and let's give it to the needy. Thank you for your support. 
yare ye yo yare ye yase obi benye ona fi yare ye yan fa yare nsu nya nipa si chire yare ni no sickness can determine the last straw of your life ladies and gentlemen friends and loved ones supporters of our foundation the cl foundation for health diabetes and asthma and cerebral palsy we are knocking at your doors knocking at your pocket knocking at your emotions support me and my team to support people living with diabetes asthma and cerebral palsy your donations are welcome on 862-215-2007 your zeal 862-215-2007 mtn ghana numbers 055-000 5077 It is the MTN number CL Foundation for Health and Support Help us with the diabetes equipment glucometers wheelchairs old clothing new clothing financial support and let's give it to the needy Thank you for your support Yari ye yo yari ye yase obi benye ona fi yari ye yan fa yari nsu nya nipa si chire yari ni no sickness can determine the last straw of your life ladies and gentlemen friends and loved ones supporters of our foundation the cl foundation for health diabetes and asthma and cerebral palsy we are knocking at your doors knocking at your pocket knocking at your emotions support me and my team to support people living with diabetes asthma and cerebral palsy your donations are welcome on 862-215-2007 your zeal 862-215-2007 mtn ghana numbers 055 000 500 77 055 000 500 77 it is the mtn number cl foundation for health and support help us with the diabetes equipment glucometers wheelchairs old clothing new clothing financial support and let's give it to the needy thank you for your support yare ye yo yare ye yase obi benye ona fi yare ye yan fa yare nsu nya nipa si chire yare ni no sickness can determine the last straw of your life ladies and gentlemen friends and loved ones supporters of our foundation the cl foundation for health diabetes and asthma and cerebral palsy we are knocking at your doors knocking at your pocket knocking at your emotions support me and my team to support people living with diabetes asthma and cerebral palsy your donations are welcome on 862-215-2007 your zeal 862-215-2007 mtn ghana numbers 055-000-5077 it is the mtn number cl foundation for health and support help us with the diabetes equipment glucometers wheelchairs old clothing new clothing financial support and let's give it to the needy thank you for your support yare ye yo yare ye yase obi benye ona fi yare ye yan fa yare nsu nya nipa si chire yare ni no sickness can determine the last straw of your life ladies and gentlemen friends and loved ones supporters of our foundation the cl foundation for health diabetes and asthma and cerebral palsy we are knocking at your doors knocking at your pocket knocking at your emotions support me and my team to support people living with diabetes asthma and cerebral palsy your donations are welcome on 862-215-2007 your zeal 862-215-2007 mtn ghana numbers 055-000-5077 055-000-5077 it is the mtn number cl foundation for health and support help us with the diabetes equipment glucometers 
055-000-5077. It is the MTN number. CF Foundation for Health and Support. Help us with the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support. And let's give it to the needy. Thank you for your support. Yari yo yari yas obi benya one fi yari e yan fa yari nsu nya nipa si chire yari ni no sickness can determine the last straw of your life ladies and gentlemen friends and loved ones supporters of our foundation the CL fund for health diabetes and asthma and cerebral palsy we are knocking at your doors knocking at your pockets knocking at your emotions support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma, and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome on 862-215-2007. Your zeal, 862-215-2007. MTM Ghana numbers, 055 000 it is the MTN number, CF Foundation for Health and Support. Help us with the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support, and let's give it to the needy. Thank you for your support. Yari yo, yari yas, umibenya one fi yari e, yanfa yari ansu nye nipa. Sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, supporters of our foundation, the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma and Cerebral Palsy. We are knocking at your doors, knocking at your pockets, knocking at your emotions. Support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome. On 862-215-2007. Your zeal. 862-215-2007. MTM Ghana numbers. 055-000-5077. 055-000-5077. It is the MTN number. CF Foundation for Health and Support. Help us. With the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support, and let's give it to the thank you very much. And um uh, there's a change in my look where I'm coming from and where I'm sitting. So they just adjust with me. Uh, I needed to move, so sorry for that long break. But let's come back to our conversation. And um, we will end it very well and find out. We thank you so much. I've seen that most of you are Barbara is here. Barbara is here. Thank you, Barbara. It's a long time. Look for me. James, James here says yes. James, what is the yes that you are talking about? Uh, what is the yes? What's the yes? What's the yes? Uh, Dr. Charlotte Drew will join us very, very soon. Akushana, thank you for clapping your hands. I think you are all waiting for Dr. Charlotte to do. I like the divergent views of the other people. And, and I believe that the rest of you will also join us very 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 soon um um you gotta you gotta do what you know how to do best because you are very needed here uh tomorrow um 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 all right so so dr shaloto draw uh, we'll, we'll come back very soon, and then I think Gifty and Boya too will, will hit will hit us very very soon. But let's continue our conversation. With without them, let, let's continue our conversation and see how impactful we have done so far, and we can leave. We've done one hour thirteen minutes, and uh, we'll close very very soon. This software has a ability with a minus adverts, minus adverts. We've not done fully one hour. We did. We've done twelve minutes, twelve minutes, twelve minutes break, twelve minutes break. So if you have an advert you want me to play for you. Now our system is ready to play advert. 
for a smaller fee. Once it's not against FDA standard and commercial, uh, what do you call them, the NCA, whatever, we can play your adverts for you. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to, to you for your able support and how far you have brought us. Um, and 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 we we we, we 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 will make sure that your product will go far, just like ginger honey chips and whatever. So let me continue the conversation. So for me, the book of Yvonne Nelson uh, is is important to me. And even though some people will get tired in reviewing the book of Yvonne Nelson, I don't think I will I will get tired because the voluminous impact of thought. A, a, in that particular memoir that she wrote will go a long way to, to be very impactful in the rest of her life that she wants to live. We have said it and we, are keep, we keep on saying that the impact of Yvonne Nelson on society, there are people that have used their image as DP and there are people who have made it possibly a highly infectious when they idolize Yvonne Nelson. So the impact of whatever she has done will have a long way to, 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 to also impact us back. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to communicate with my, my able people. Yeah, some of them are busy somewhere. But, 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 like the driver spoke earlier on and most of the things the driver said was like she was in my head and she was saying what i will i will want to say look at funny face look at funny face now not in the negative sense but funny face went through a particular phase and that is why we got to know that the father was not present. So we're, we're dealing with the mother and the siblings. I don't know if you get, get my conversation. So the more we're dealing with the mother, the more we had, we had positive gains or issues about her. The impact of a mother in the life of, of a child, people, we, we cannot take it lightly. So I'm saying the mother and the father, who is more important? They are needed. Who is more needed? Because if the life of the child is as a result of the way the mother have taken care of the child, then when a child is misbehaving in town, we should see the mother's signature in the life of the child. But when it comes there, they say, no, you can't say that. And you're back on the titiba. No, we can't say that. Bringing up your child is not one person's duty. No, you can't say that. It's the duty of all of us. No, you can't say that. It is everybody's duty to make sure that the child will grow. And they'll come back and, pro and give you a lot of proverbs. That simply put, it takes a village to raise a child. You know, all these things will come up. So the impact of the mother, does it really help? Your answers are needed, please. Sorry for my image. When you're working in low with low production, this is what happens to you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, die, Papa. Sorry. I needed something because uh, our system will be going off and I needed something quickly to solve the, the off problem right now, you know, uh, the system will go off and we needed to, to come quickly and solve the off thing of the system because if it goes off, we will all be in trouble. So I'm trying my best to uh, solve the issue of the off. So that is why you saw me going down. It's unprofessional, but forgive, forgive moi because all of us, we have to be here. I don't want to disappoint you. But today your comments are not coming. So even when Equia comes, she has nothing to read. But even though Equia has not come yet, uh, if you know Equia, share the page with Equia. I think you are not sharing. Yvonne is a byproduct of the mother. So I'm believing that every attitude she's portraying 
every style she's putting out there, we can we can blame it on the mother because the father have not been present, but the mother has been. And the number of years and weeks and months that the father has not been, but the mother has been, uh, this number of years has impacted positively in the life of Yvonne. So like the driver said earlier on, if Yvonne is not interested in marriage, if Yvonne is not interested in, in anything to do with men as a result of settling the home, should we blame the mother? But Yvonne made it clear to us that one of the most fiercest things in the life of the mother was marriage, even though God ordained it. And I'm saying that I played the video from, from Ochami Kwame's show, 30 questions was answering. And Yvonne said she would prefer to have a partner who would take care of the child very well, but not marriage. Yes, she said it. So it comes back to me that Yvonne having a child even out of wedlock with a certain man was planned. However, the pregnancy that came while she was 25 years, wow, was not planned. Fast forward, at 30, Yvonne said a certain man walked and gave her a ring that was meant to lead her to marriage. But she took it back to the person. She gave it back to the person because she can't see herself in that committed relationship. She doesn't want to cheat. So the interest of marriage has been taken out of Yvonne. If there's anything to write home about. And once that interest is gone, and the impact of the mother was more, even though the mother has been married more than once to keep a home for herself. Because if you read the, the first post that came from Paul, Paul said, all are needed without a mother problem, without a father problem. In the absence of the father, the mother will still look for a man somewhere to support her. So the mother, the father is not here. But the mother has done something so that there can be a, a caretaker or a representative of your father in your life. Yes. So the impact of a mother in the life of a child, we have all come, and we all agree that is more. Are we all agreeing that it is more than the father? If we are all agreeing, then the question will go further to ask that can fathers be absent whilst they don't know they are absent? And, and that question, maybe we have to do it in a second phase. Because I'm asking that question based on me being in the house with my children now. That I'll be shocked that I'm in the house with my wife, but my children will see me as an absentee father. So the mother is needed more. Can we blame them when the children are wayward? The mother is needed more. So can they be blamed? when things are not going well in the life of the children. Because if the mothers are supposed to be blamed the more, then in the absence of where, where the father is not there, the child should still make it and become proper. Am I saying something sensible? Am I saying something sensible? Text. All right. Do, do you get where I'm coming from? I, I am really for it. But the other part is 
Can we still blame them? I'm using the word blame. It's harsh. It's painful. There's too much energy with the word blame. Can we blame them when the children are not behaving well in public? And if we are saying that the impact of the mother is greater and stronger, then I was asking this morning my driver, when she broke her virginity, did she tell the mother? I says, no, she's old. So it was a taboo for you to get to have anything to do with sex. You were not giving sex education except a warning. And you were told what sex can do to you. Nobody told me when I was growing up that sex was pleasurable. No. My, my, the education I had from school, at home, at church, they made me believe that sex was the biggest punishment. When you do it, you have children and you'll never be able to conclude what God has put on your life. So sex was in, in posted to me like the biggest punisher. If you want to, if you want if you want to live a life that you don't want to be successful, go for sex. If you want to live a life that is not a good life, go for sex. Please, do you understand what I'm coming from? So she said, having sex was not a news. Having sex was not a news that will go out there. Yes, it was not the news. Was not. Because if they know you'll be punished and you have been warned. And safe sex was the last thing. So if one at 25 getting pregnant and terminating the pregnancy, the mother who was in the life of Yvonne, who is more needed, I don't think she had an idea. So all of a sudden, the mother comes back to hear a message that at age 25 of the innocent Yvonne Nelson, she got pregnant, went to terminate without her presence. Because the way Yvonne is, she says she fears nobody. That was in the 30 questions answered she, she did with Ochiame Kofi on, 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 on Angel. You can go and watch it there. I'm not quoting wrongly. That's what she said from her own mouth. It was not dotted. It was a live show. Now, Yvonne's statement that she has made there. She says she fears nobody. She doesn't want anybody to cheat anybody. She's straightforward. And I love that spirit. He says you can survive if you, are, you have a man's spirit. And it's a man's wealth. Now all these things that she said. And all these statements that has come up. It gives us a lot of conversation around her place. Is it possible that whatever she's gone through or she's going through is something that we, as in us, can have a thoughts about it in the way we bring up our children? Join. I, I don't know if you get where I'm coming from. Do you get, do you get my, my conversation? So the impact of a mother can we say positively? Yes. But it is the trump card that we can use to blame the upbringing of a child. So when a child is not performing well, when a child is not doing well, when a child is not able to bring the best out of him or the best out of her, we should blame the mother. When a child does well, we should blame the mother. Is that what we're saying? Because if the mother is more needed and your mother is present, why should you fail? You can confuse people. I don't know if you get my, my, my side. If the mother per our conversation, and I'm saying that I'm trying to take it from Ayubonte's point. Ayubonte's Paul says that both of them are needed. I agree. And when the man leaves the woman, the woman will find ways and means of bringing a certain man in her life to assist to take care of the child. Now, a daughter at 25 was able to do abortion. And the mother who 
was more in the life of the child? I have no idea. Hello? So when you are more in the life of somebody, can we blame you for the outcome of the person? Is a question. Did you get where I'm coming from? Because if your daughter, so all of a sudden, one lesson's mother will be sitting at home and has kept the daughter more influence in the life of the daughter then comes the daughter's story in public i i had an abortion at age 25. that is a shocker to kill a mother yesterday on my show yesterday on my show <laughs> the my son, welcome. Uh, son, I want uh, Madam Amma Mason. What is her time? Hey, Reverend Zebo, you have to join the link and share your thoughts on this, Reverend Zebo. My son, you should be able to join the link and share. Um, and and uh, 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 Madam Mason, Amma Mason, how do we get her? Because her thoughts, I've watched a lot, but her thoughts are very important to me. If she's available, can you share the link with her? She's your partner. Uh, with all respect and humility. I want women's thoughts more than mine. I'm saying that between the man and the woman, who is, and that's, that's Mr. Dotko, my son from the United States of America, who is watching me, and 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 I'm honored to have you, son. Thank you very much for passing through for 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 me. And and not just not just my son. Okay, been here since you began. Oh, but I didn't see you, boy. Mm, man, you are not boy. You are man. Man, I didn't see you. You know, usually when you come, announce yourself. So it means you have a thought. By this time, you have a link if you can bring your face because this is all happening because of you. And now your your father is mastering the game. But I'm asking for Amma Mason. If, if you can talk to her about what we are discussing. Say, hey, I'm late to you, Amma. I'm saying, 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 I'm I'm saying, if you can get me, uh, Madam Mason, I'll be very happy. I have to extend my time, and 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 we'll give we'll give an extension of 20, 20 more minutes so we can have a better conversation. Done. It's very very important to 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 all of us, and um, if we can have it done, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Uh, I want you to join, please. I want you to join. Let's go. I want you to join and and be part of it. Where is Equia? Equia, if you are sleeping, it is 10 o'clock. Wake up. If you are in the bank, I'm, I'm okay with it. Equia, the banker. All right. Uh, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So my question is what I'm asking. Between the father and the mother, who is more needed in the life of a child? And we've gone further. So if you have any answer, I will read it for you. Your comments are brought to you. The whole show is brought to you by nothing else but one thing, which is what? Ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips ginger honey chips this is what is brought to you is brought to you by ginger honey chips so wherever you are if you want to have chips for the chewing chips for akenpada chips for making things work for you remember the best you can do is this one and it's very very simple that you make it happen to us and let me also remind you that one of the best that you can use for menstrual cramps it's called Femi Bless. Femi Bless. Femi Bless. Femi Bless is the best serum for all women. 
And we have the ginger bell tooth gel. It's the best gel that I use for my tooth and I've not still gone to the dentist. It is from Light Pharma. And this is coming from Dr. Fair Pam's company, a solid company. This young man has a spirit and his spirit is genuine for me. Dr. Fair Pam, thank you very much for supporting our show this morning. His advert will come very soon. And you can watch the adverts too as well. You can also join me right now, wherever you are, by clicking on the link. And, and if uh, Dr. Fair Pam even comes and click the link, it will be easy for me to let him tell you more about the product. That's why I'm going to start interviewing people who are playing their product as well so that they give you education as well. And don't forget that uh, and, 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 and Tonga Tali, Tonga Tali, I'm going to get their boss to come and share with us the ideas of Tonga Tali as well too. So Tonga Tali ginseng coffee, Tonga Tali ginseng coffee. How are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to join my link. Well, I am doing very well. I need your thoughts. It's a long time I had your laughter on my channel. If you are free and you are not busy, can you please join this link and let's have a discussion. The impact of a mother and a father in the life of a child. Who is more likely to impact? Please go to your WhatsApp as I'm live and join me because I need your laughter on this show. Your impact and your, your opinions are very important. So that is why I pick your call and go back to WhatsApp and see what I've written there for you right now. Thank you. I love you. You know, you know, I love you. 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 Somebody came online. So I hey, Ekia, Ekia, you're out of the bank. Thank you very much for coming out of the bank. Ekia is here with us and she will do more of the reading about it. So our conversation is simple. In the life of the child, the mother and the father, who is more important? Remember, they are all needed. They are all needed, but who is more needed? And remember where we have gotten to, especially before my driver left me, her point was that the mother is more needed. And Ayubo Ntetu says that both of them are needed. But even in the absence of the father, the mother will go for a certain man to come and support her to be able to take care of the child. So under no circumstance, under no circumstance, you know, under no circumstance, can can uh, 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 uh. and under no circumstance and under no circumstance will we find ourselves in any position one way or the other and come out with a particular suggestion or a thought that that uh, it is blah 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 blah, 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 blah. I'm saying that if we were Nelson at twenty five. Had the mother and can have an abortion, and the mother didn't have a knowledge about it. Maybe, maybe I should say maybe, but we just chance on it. People are talking about it in the book that a certain sarcodier impregnated her. A certain sarcodier impregnated her, and it is it is news everywhere. What will be the feeling of, of the mother? So my daughter, I was keeping. And I kept asking, if a child's performance is not okay, if a child's performance is not coming out in the right direction, in the right way, who should we blame? Because if the impact of the child, whatever you do, the child's impact will come. With, because the matter is more needed. Now the women have taken it. Can we also blame them when things are happening wrongfully or rightfully in the life of the children? It means that whether your mother, whether your father is there or not, you can make it because your mother is more needed. So when you are bitter, you are hurt, you have some level of rage against men. You don't want to see anything good about any man. Your desire for marriage is gone. If there's anything like that, can we also blame your mother? Can we please?
So, so all the all the conversation we are having, I, unless somebody has a different thought that women, the mothers don't have more impact in the life of the child, then. But I'm saying that if the mothers have more impact, can we also say they've done well when the children are doing well? Can we also say that we should blame them when the children are not doing well? Because if one Nelson says she's afraid of marriage, she doesn't want to get married. She will prefer to have a partner, have children, and the man should be more responsible in taking care of the children. She believes it's in the man's will, and she will make it. Her investment in life is, is in fixed asset, it's in production, and it's in the daughter. These are the three things she spends her money on. Her daughter, production, and fixed assets. This is coming from Yvonne Nelson. So Yvonne Nelson's mentality of investing into fixed asset is from the mother. Yvonne Nelson's intention of going into production, putting her money into production is from the mother. Yvonne Nelson's idea to take care of the daughter is, in, is from the mother. Yvonne Nelson's interest, lack of interest in marriage, but want to have a partner is from the mother. If a Nelson at 30 met a man who sent her a ring, they were in a relationship to marry at 30, but she took back everything and broke up because she's not ready for commitment as a wife because that thing is scary. And she said in her book that the most scary thing for the mother was marriage, even though it was ordained by God. So when he met, when he married a certain man, she was taken to the house, but she was not treated well. So if the mother is needed more, then when the father is not present in the life of the child, which is not possible though, because a father can never be absent in the life of any child, unless the mother decides to make you absent in the life of your child. I'm sorry, I said this thing will be very hard. You cannot be absent in the life of your child until the mother of the child decides to make you absent. So if a Nelson is looking for the father and the father's absence it's not that she's not absent. The father is present, but absent physically because the mother know who the father is or may know who the father is, but based on some agreement or based on some assertion that it is in the public space or based on some fear or based on some situations that will, will erupt as a result of unraveling who the father of Yvonne is, the attitude of the tomboy Yvonne might spark other things. Because even now as we are speaking, she's reading, I am not Yvonne Nelson. And it is not, my God, it's not, it's not palatable. Emmanuel Yabua, thank you for joining us. So, mothers are more needed. Can we blame them when children are not doing well? Can we praise them when children do well? So it means that, it means that, you see, it means that, People who are blaming their mothers for not making it are right. But they could have still made it. Because Paul said, even, and that's Aibonte I'm talking about. So Paul Aibonte's statement is, is, a, is also a very impactful one. Saudi Arabia is where Emmanuel Yeboa, thank you very much for, for joining us from Saudi Arabia. God bless you too. It means that, it, it, because we are not understanding why our children will take off their mother more than us. As a matter of fact, it's not the duty of any child to take off the mother, to take off the parents in general. But they will always want to use my mother as the pivot of expenditure over any other person. So the driver made a statement before she got out of the car that mothers must be careful what they share with their children. The pain in their hearts, the pain in their hearts give them an opportunity to share a certain form. They want to open up. Like if one Nelson had just opened up in a book and like, like the forwarding from, from, from Manasseh, they said they know what they are writing will spark a lot of pain, confusion in society. So the mother is keeping the news from her because it will spark a lot of confusion. Just imagine that Yvonne Nelson comes up and realizes that my father is her father. What will happen to the two of us? Unfortunately, we've not had sex before for you to say incest. But the request for Yvonne Nelson, if the father is brought to bed and this is your father, her excitement will be higher, but the confusion for the mother will be more worse. And Yvonne will write a new book. 
because I am not even Nelson. When she become even Luthor, she has to write another book for us. Well, from America is Mr. Dotcom. The yes, and his name is there, Mr. Dotcom. Mr. Dotcom, welcome, 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 welcome. Good morning. Mr. Dotcom, can you hear me, please? Yes, please. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you all hear Mr. Dotcom? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. All right. So the rest of you two can hear Mr. Dotcom. Thank you very much. Mr. Dotcom, welcome. Uh, and you, you have been hiding in the corner. And this is my son in, in, North, in North Carolina. And the software we are using, he is the the brain behind this in Guinea because we're looking for the Sling Studio. And he said, uh, 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 Rev, I think can we try this one too and see? And I think I'm doing well. You should be clapping for me. Now I'm doing adverts. I'm doing a lot. And uh, I have to start playing your advert as well. So bring me your adverts. <laughs> the mistakes are, are there and, and, and it's good. But you've joined us this morning. Our discussion is simple. Between the life of a child, the mother, and the father who is more needed and in our quest to say who is more needed we are not rubbishing one's one's uh, presence but we are asking who is more needed in the life of the child i don't know your take on this one mr dot oh, and, and for your notice let me do this quickly advert before he speaks good morning so let me do this quickly before mr dot com speak if you want to go to america and go and teach Especially those of you who want to do, uh, who who have who have first degree in teaching special children, children with special need especially, and uh, those who have patience to take care of children in, in in primary school, and you know you are qualified and you are a Ghanaian, please immediately after this show, or your sister is a teacher and she wants to travel to go to America with the family to go and learn teaching or to go and, and give hand in teaching in the United States of America. Please just call the number on your screen and we'll connect you, okay, after the show. Mr. Dotcom, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Good morning. And thank you so much for having me. Uh, good morning to you. Thank you for and your viewers as well. Good morning. And look at the time. What's the time in America now? It's this 40 a.m. Oh, okay. You, you don't have a class today. Your vacation. No, no, I don't have a class today. Yes. And thank I'm, you very I'm much for joining us. I'm going to bring my video because I'm somewhere that i i just yeah pop in and that's that's one thing i love about this software that you can give us an advert instead of your face so we are seeing mr dot com yes, mr o dot com is what we are seeing with your signature i love it i'll come yeah. and learn it so let me to i can go off and put this one there <laughs> but when i go off i see image doing <laughs> yeah, okay so let's go and, uh, all right i just want to congratulate you for the good work you are doing and for the thank you for all that you oh, are doing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I love that. You, I, I, love that. Been, I was following right from the time you started and even before the driver went off, all the discussion I was following and I was wow. running through wow. my own thoughts. Yes, and uh, you've you. done the good work with the software as well, trying to incorporate thank the adverts and all that. And I've, I've not thank even you. been able to do that yet. So thank you so much. Oh, I'll, I'll you. teach you. I'll teach you. I'll <laughs> teach you today. Today I'll take you to class and teach you. I'll teach yes, you so sir. that you also come with your advert, okay? So that I can yes, send you advert to play for me. You have to play the ginger <laughs> advert in, in America. And thank exactly. you for selling ginger for me too. My son sells ginger for me in North Carolina. So you see the money I chop is small, small money. He sells ginger. Big man like that with the family. All right. So let's go. I'm here. Yeah. So I'm listening to you, Mr. Dotcom. Let's go. Well, in America, they are 